Hey guys, Nick Everest here. Today we're going to go through how to make some realistic clouds with acrylic paint. I've used plyboard today, so make sure to tape up the edges to keep them nice and clean. We'll go through the materials I used and then let's get started. So we're going to start our cloud painting now. So I've got um, my palette here with a little bit of black, blue, copper and white. Uh, we're going to start up with the background colour, so just mixing some blue, white and a bit of copper. I want it quite a nice bright blue. So I'm just going to put that colour over the whole um, canvas. guys so I've just got um, my whole background painted blue so before we get into the clouds I just want to add the um, wispy bits of clouds that are behind um, and this is just going to add some depth to the painting so I've just got my palette here and I've got my white basically I'm just going to really water down my brush and um, pop heaps of water on there and pick up a little bit of the white and wipe as much off and I'm just going to add some wisps, um, mainly in through this bottom section here. So I'm just going to really just add that in through there. Then, because the back was a little bit wet still, um, it's just blending in a bit. So I'm just going to add a bit more paint to my brush and make it a bit wider whole bottom section is filled with clouds so I'm just gonna make that nice and wide. There we go. Alright so I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll start um, popping in the clouds. So this is pretty touch dry now so I'm gonna um, just quickly outline where I'm gonna pop some clouds. I'm just gonna use a bit of white just to show you guys where they're roughly going to go. So this is a bit messy, but basically all down here is just going to be a whole heap of little ones. And then it's going to fade up and have the, the big ones there. So. The first step um, for doing clouds, well basically the whole process is lots and lots of layers, but I'm going to fill in all of the bodies of this cloud with a medium white. So not the brightest white, but not the darkest colour either. So I'm just going to grab some of my white, I'm going to add a little bit of the copper to it, a little bit of the blue. I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty happy with that. I might do a little bit of the black. Um, but it's not very dark. And I'm just basically going to go around and add this color into the, all the bodies of my clouds. Just to add a bit of texture, I'm just moving my hand around in a bit of a curling motion so that it's already starting with a bit of texture. So I'm just going to go around and colour the rest of them in. Okay, so um, I've added all that in. The, um, there was a few gaps that I actually wanted to add some clouds in behind so I've just sort of blended them in a little bit darker than the front ones um, and I've sort of ha haven't fully gone up to all the borders just so that we can sort of keep that defined a little bit more. 
So now I'm just going to um, add in some of the darker aspects to it. Uh, thus, darker aspects of the clouds. So if you can imagine the sun's coming in from this direction. So the front of this cloud, which is right up the front, um, is going to be dark and underneath. And then these lower ones, um, all underneath, where the sun's not hitting, is going to be darker. So I'm just grabbing my brush and I'm going to mix up some of the white and black to make it grey. I'm going to add some copper in there as well. Um, and then I'm just going to add a touch of blue. I really don't want it to be too blue. Um, and a little bit more white. So these aren't big rain clouds, these are more like happy sunny day clouds. So I don't want this to be too dark. Perfect. So I'm just going to add in some shadows on this front section here. And I'm just very lightly feathering, so I'm not really putting a lot of pressure on the brush. And it's still a bit wet, so um, it is blending in a little bit. A little bit later, I'm going to let the whole thing dry um, so that we can dry brush it a little bit better. So then in here, it's also quite dark. So I don't have heaps of paint on my brush. Underneath here, just starting to add the darkness. So uh, I want it a little bit darker, I think. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the, the black right at the bottom here. all underneath. So I'm just going to grab a slightly smaller brush um, for the smaller clouds and I'm just going to be doing the same thing. So, in through here. oh that's quite dark. I'll just put a bit more white on that. In through here. And basically I'm just sort of running along the bottom and then I'm just random bits going up a little bit. that's looking a little drier now so I've got my drop sheet here with me um, that I'm just wiping my brush on to make sure it's nice and dry and now we're gonna start adding in some more of the highlights so I'm going to add a little bit more white to that mix I had before and I'm just put, popping some on my brush and then I'm gonna wipe a little bit off so there's not a whole heap on there and we're just going to dry brush some lighter parts onto this cloud here. So the, and basically I'm just using um, like what I call just a scribbling technique. So just um, pushing quite firm on the canvas. You can hear that sound it's making. And just in circular motions like that. So not too much paintbrush on your brush and you're just going to go around just help blend in some of those darker spots and so obviously the edge of the cloud is usually quite broken up so I'm just going to dot some of those in over there as well going to keep going around on this big cloud up here. Not too much, see too much on my brush then. So I right, just pick up a little bit more. I really want to leave sort of a darker section in the corner and then this bit through here quite dark. So I'm not going to put too much of the lighter colour through there. I'm just going to try and blend it in though. And then really in this part of the cloud it's quite bright. You can have a little bit more on your brush and just sort of dot it on if you're wanting to leave that colour and not blend it in so much. Underneath here, I'm just using the edge of my brush, it's quite bright. So I'm just going to that through there. I'm 
awesome. So that's a good sort of first blending layer for that one. Um, one thing I do want to do is I've lost a little of the darkness in there, so I'm going to just go back through and actually add some of that darkness back in through there. So I'm just picking up some of my grey colour that I had earlier. I'm probably going to need to put a bit more black on my cap on my palette in a second. Just add a little bit of white to it. Very gently just add some more dark in through there. So just lightly sort of scribbling that on. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that for my first dry brush of this cloud. Um, we're gonna go back over that again, but while that's drying. I'm just going to um, use this darker colour that I had on my brush just to re-go over those darker sections on these clouds down here. I want to make it a little bit more blue, I think. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to that darker. That's better. And I'm just going back through and defining some of these darker areas that we went through before. And really... Um, just lightly brushing them so there's not a, not a whole heap of moisture on my brush at the minute. Just lightening that up a bit. So, and there's not a whole heap of paint on there either. Just very lightly sort of brushing that on. Now I'm going to wash my brush and get that darker colour off. And I'm going to go back through with that lighter colour. Um, and go back through and lighten up all through here. So if you've got too much on your brush, just wipe a little bit more off. I just want to... So I'm either dabbing like this. I'm scribbling it through. My brush is probably a still a little bit too wet from washing it. So I'm leaving the dark colour at the bottom and then just scribbling this lighter colour through the top. Again, similar to this one at the very bottom. I'm just going to brush around. Quite a lot of light here. So if you're wanting the, it to be a bit brighter, just keep a little bit more on your paint and just dab it through like that. This bit's not blended very well. To go through and do that through all of these little ones as well. So just making sure there's no hardly from my brush and just blending that in through there. And just using that circular motion. going to use this bright dry brushing technique to um, define these wispy areas a little bit more too. So now that um, that layer is on we're going to go through all of that again continuing to dry brush but with a lighter layer again. So just with a little bit more white, I'm just going to gently add some highlights in through there. So 
I have quite a bit on my brush. Um, but I'll just drag it all through now and at the bottom. And this one, I'm going to add just a bit of a cloud as if it's sort of breaking off it a little. I'm going to keep this brush for this cloud, but then when I go into those smaller clouds, I'm actually going to change to a smaller brush. So again, so you still want to leave some of that dark coming through as if it's the shadows of the clouds. So you don't want to go too bright too all over the whole thing. Just like that. So now for these smaller clouds, I'm just going to change my brush to a slightly smaller one. So just making sure I can get it as dry as I can. And then just continuing with that process. I'm just lightening it up. So you still, you're not scri um, scribbling the right white over the whole cloud. You're still wanting to leave some of that dark underneath. So mixing between the prodding and then the scribbling. Now remember this is on plywood too, so this is um, a bit different to then if it was on canvas. Uh, this is nice and smooth. If, you, if it's on canvas, um, it will come up with more of a blurry look because of all the um, texture in the canvas. So if you're wanting it a more smooth look, then um, the more layers of gesso you pop on the canvas, the more smooth it will be. If you're happy to have it that blurry cloud look um, on the canvas, then yeah, just um, don't even worry about putting any gesso and just jump straight on. Usually most canvases come primed with a couple of layers of gesso anyway. Scribbling through. So I'm going to go back through and define these clouds a bit clearer in a minute, but for now, I'm just trying to get the basics done. Beautiful. Now I've got my little bit of a smaller brush, I'm just going to come back in. using this motion here, just like that, like a, like a half circle, just going to add some really white bits in there. And a little cloud over here I've forgotten about that I wanted to pop in earlier. So I'll pop that in now. There we go. Same for this one, just adding those nice and bright. Details in there. Okay, so now um, I want to focus more on these smaller ones. I'm going to go to a smaller brush again and we're really going to um, zoom in to these little little um, clouds all the way down here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a lot of that dark. So I'm just going to pick up that bit of white. My brush is a little bit more wet which is okay because we're not blending as much. I'm just going to, using that little motion, just add some more of those highlights in. So 
we're actually going to go through and add highlights onto all these little clouds and then I'm going to come back through again and add some of the darker and then we're going to come back through again and add some more highlights so really I think with clouds it's just building up those layers nice and slowly different ways that people do clouds. Um, this is just the way I taught myself. Okay guys, um, so I've just gone through and added those little details of light colour. Something that I want to do now um, though is um, these wispy bits. I want to wash them down a little bit um, and Sort of just do a few washes over the top just before we do our final layers. So all I've done is I've added some white. I've just got a, um, a jar of water here and I've added some white onto my brush and then I've just put heaps of water so that it's very, very runny. And I'll just wipe some of that up. So I could just get a little bit of that and I'm just gonna do a wash over the top sweeping through like this. Just like that, just sweeping through. And then while that's nice and wet, I'm just going to wipe it off these darker sections. So while that's drying, we're going to concentrate again on these little clouds, going back through with that darker colour. So I'm going to mix up some of my blue, um, black and white and then a bit of the copper and then I'm going to go through and just add some of these dark, this dark colour in through some of these clouds and again I want my brush quite dry I'm just going to gently sort of brush this on. So I'm going to start with actually quite a dark colour and then I'm going to lighten it up. And basically, just trying to add some texture and some shadows into these clouds, um, really to make them a bit more believable and to add some depth. I'm going to add some to the bigger clouds as well, just defining those shadowy areas a little bit more. Don't worry too much about this because we're going to go back over with the lighter. So if you accidentally go a bit too dark in one area, we're going to go back over it again in a minute, building up those layers. I'm actually going to add another whole cloud in under here too. So I'm going to my little brush. I'm just just think it's missing one. So I'm going to put some white on my brush and then add that one into there underneath. Going to be super clear where one cloud in and one cloud finishes under there, but that's all right. We're going to go back through and add the lighter bits again. So, just putting some of the lighter colour on my brush again, and then we're going to wipe it all off. I haven't washed my brush off yet, so I just want to see if I can blend those colours so it. This is probably more of a grey than white on my brush at the minute. I'm just going to go through and just add highlights wherever I, wherever I think it needs them. Usually just on the top of where you've just added the darker colour. Just building up those layers. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to go through and really start adding some highlights again with this little brush. So we're just going to come through here 
and just add some heart. So at the edge of the clouds, usually it looks a bit specked because of the clouds breaking up a little. So if we just very gently add some of that onto the edge. Still using that circular mo movement. And then you're gonna come all the way back through and just very gently add some highlights. So here, if you can see there's like a darker section behind here, I'm gonna, I really wanna keep defining that, so I've just added a little bit lighter in there. And just all the way through. So you still want some of that, the darker white to be shining through, so you don't wanna go overboard with the light. And if you can see, this little brush is the same, it's not smooth anymore. So it's um, perfect for adding those details in. So I'm just going to go around and basically just add little highlights all through these ones through here. All, all through the little ones. So yeah, just try and keep in mind which um, clouds are in front of which clouds. So this cloud is obviously in the front of this one, and then this one here is actually also in the front of that one. So when you add your highlights, just try and make sure you know which clouds are in front, so that way you don't get too muddled up um, with, with where you're adding your highlights. really just, um, if you can imagine, I'm just adding the highlights where I think the sun would touch. So if the sun's coming in this way, then all along the top the sun's going to touch. So as you're getting lower on the cloud, your sun, the sun isn't going to reach that part. So really, you just want the very tops sort of having the most light. Beautiful. So I'm just going to define these areas a little bit as well. Adding the highlights in just certain spots along here. So now that I've got my smaller brush, I can add a little bit more detail into these wispy bits, just by gently pressing my brush on the canvas. Now I'd still really like to, to make this white wash through here a bit stronger and pop some white on it. And so I'm just going to water down my brush again and really just add some nice white through there and down in through here too. So these are just called acrylic washes and so they do tend to fade quite a lot so the more I guess the more paint and less water you have the thicker the wash will stay the more you wash it down the more it's going to fade. I don't want all of it washed out, just a little bit. It goes through anywhere you don't want it, you can just wipe it off. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just going to go around the edges now and um, add some of those wispy bits again, just with a pure white brush. Just going around and adding some wispy bits off, off the, not the, off the edge of every cloud, just a few of them. So 
and fixing up any highlights I can see that just need a little bit more blending or fixing up. And add some wispy bits over the top. Just where the cloud's broken off a bit. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Once you finish with your painting, don't forget to take the tape off the side and pop a signature in the corner. Uh, if you like this video, please like and comment and share with your friends. Can't wait to keep making videos for you guys. See you soon. Oh, that's better. I'm just gonna define those a bit more. Hang on a sec. <laughs>